Hello everybody, uh, my name is Rich Wetzel. I just thought I'd put this uh, little video together, have kind of a, a little bit of an explanation on the uh, Frank Minear routine, the edited version that I've uh, put out there for everybody. Um, so basically, a um, couple quick observations. Uh, you can do this at a moderate volume. You don't have to blast it, just kind of nice comfortable volume, mezzo piano to mezzo forte. Um, if your chops are a little beat up from some really hard gigs, you know, maybe you do it real soft like you would any other time. Uh, you have something like that happen, a little soft playing can be good for you. Um, so most of it is pretty straight ahead in the beginning. You know, there's the regular lip slurs that, you know, bah, and you go through the bugles, the valve positions, the lip trails. Uh, there's no exact number, even though it's notated a certain way. It's just kind of a shape for the thing. So when you get to the lip trills part of it, you can do those uh, a number of times as an example. feels comfortable but it's, it's that motion and doing it comfortably um, when you get to the scales you run the scales the way they're indicated that's pretty straightforward um, the chromatic part um, sometimes I'll do a, you know an extra time or two versus what's written in the book so you ascending descending if you feel like you got it in you and you want to add another time or two it's mainly just following the form um, and then when you get to the octave slurs, uh, even though it's notated using quarter notes for convenience, you could really think of it as half notes, at, you know, at a moderate tempo. So, and uh, usually the way I'm doing them would be uh, like. Um, and you rest 20 seconds, and you go up in half steps. Um, then there's that one break before you continue on up. Actually, it starts right at, at C to I C. It's about two or three minutes. So after you get done, take a 15 minute break. Just let that ruminate. Um, and then you could practice. If you want to work on lead playing, you could practice big band lead trumpet parts. That's one of the things I think actually helps solidify this a little bit. But for the purposes of this practice, uh, you'll play those parts very soft, like mezzo piano, uh, real easy. There's plenty of time on the gig and the rehearsals to play at gig volume or a little bit louder. Uh, but even there, you got to avoid the mortal sin that a lot of trumpet players make, which is to play too damn loud too much of the time. Um, I heard a great expression that uh, a friend of mine attributed to Roger Ingram. I think it's actually in his book. Um, where he reminds us that the trumpet is way louder on this end than it is back here to us. So you don't have to be that loud. It's going to come through anyway. Um, so you want to avoid playing too loud even on the gigs. But in this practice, when I run the lead charts, I do them very soft. Mezzo piano, just real easy. I'm just getting the feel, just kind of dialing my chops in. And then I rest in between each tune. I might run, maybe you... Uh, four tunes is sufficient you could do as many as six or seven at the most um, and then I, I make sure I rest between every single tune so I play a tune and then I take a break you know I'll uh, check my email I'll go walk across the house get a glass of water I'll do something that makes me take that one to three minutes of break so just walk across the house uh, go get a glass of water Go pet the dog, come back, look at your email for a second, play the next tune. And so you're resting about one to three minutes between the tunes. And when you get done with the tunes, take a long break, uh, an hour if you can, uh, and then come back later in the day and work on any of the other things you want to work on. You want to work on other literature, uh, stuff out of the Arbenz book, any number of other things that you might do, gigs, rehearsals. Uh, and again, even when you get to that stuff, pace yourself, don't overblow frequent rests, that kind of thing. Just just smart trumpet playing. Anyway, 
I hope this helps. Just kind of a little overview. All right, bye-bye.